All right, what's going on YouTube? Truck and Rob coming at you here, doing a little cupcake in here in the sleeper, kind of relaxing a little bit. A hell of a day. So here we go. Let's talk about leasing, chapter two. <laughs> now, if you guys uh, watched the previous video, chapter one, there um, basically broke down the different the different uh, options for leasing. Um, you got your regular lease and then your lease purchase uh, leasing through a carrier or outside outside leasing that kind of thing um, All right, so you guys have made your decision right you, you interested in leasing interested in the next level um, There's one thing that bugs the crap out of me that everybody a lot of people do uh, They just jump right into it. Okay, they go right from a company truck or they're switching leasing companies. Maybe they're in a bad uh, lease company now and they found some greener grass, right? We all know about that greener grass, right? Um, well, for me, example, I mean, I found greener grass. You know, you guys can scroll through my channel there and and uh, it doesn't take much to figure out that I was with Prime. I've uh, got a couple videos on why I left, how I left, all that sort of thing. Enough is enough, all that sort of stuff. Got a few videos out on that. And, um, you know, I, I found some greener grass, basically. And uh, it is it is quite a bit greener, uh, I'll be honest with you. But that's just one of those things, you know. Um, you got to do some research and talk to a lot of people. Um, but my point on this one is, are you ready? Are you ready to take on a lease or a lease purchase or, hell, even owner up? This doesn't matter. All, all three of those. Uh, this will pertain to all three whether you're going to go just a regular rental lease, try that out, get into a lease purchase, or outside financing and, and bite the bullet and go do the big boy stuff at the bank, all right, and get, get you a nice truck. Um, this is going to, it's for everybody. Uh, a little bit of story, a little bit of a story of, of me and, and what I went through um, transitioning from Prime to over here at Blair. And a lot of people don't do this. I was talking uh, on the radio show, on our uh, Robin Woody show that we got over on L and J Radio. Uh, go check that out, by the way. A little plug there. Um, but I was talking with uh, with Woody and uh, Matt Eso, the little guy, and uh, I was asking him some questions because he got into he just got into a big lease purchase over at Traveloco, uh, brand new truck, brand new trailer. Um, big payment too. Big payment. Now he went from a company position, and um, it, it kind of hit pretty hard. And one thing that we were talking about that we wished uh, that we're all going to try to get this information out there for everybody is that to save some money. Okay. Um, obviously, if you're going to do the owner op thing, go do the big boy at the bank stuff. You're going to have to have money. Okay. Fifteen, ten to twenty grand down. Okay. Um, now some of these leases you don't really have to have a down payment however however comma you need some money guys I cannot stress that enough I mean it's what we were talking about on the radio show of of guys leaving a company position or out of your trainers truck and hopping right into a lease or lease purchase okay with with no money you have no money at all you're broke um you're behind on the bills at the house um the wife or girlfriend's upset you know i mean uh, most arguments at home revolve around money most of them um and you're wanting to get into this lease thing okay um save your money guys really save your money and and you've got to have I'm gonna say, and me and Matt and, and Woody will agree too. At least five grand, at at a minimum, at least five grand, to get into a lease, a lease purchase, or or outside financing. Set aside on top uh, on the outside financing thing. This will be on top of your down payment. Okay, um, there's expenses, guys. I mean, you know, some of you guys that have switched companies, you know that it's it's one to to three weeks really that your paychecks really aren't that great right I mean um, you know you got 
you got a clean say you're at another company and you're going to want to get into a lease uh, a better company that has a really good lease purchase you know you're going to have to take the time to clean out the truck get the truck cleaned up um, go to your your company now turn in the truck um, catch a bus rent a car take a plane whatever to get to your new company there's some money um, unless they're going to pay for it obviously but um, there's money involved okay now now you're at your new company you, you've, we're at a week now basically of, of cleaning out your truck turning in your truck and you start orientation on Monday at the new company well a lot of places don't do orientation pay or if so it doesn't come until later right um, you're gonna need money you're gonna need money for food all this stuff and that's the small that's the small that's that's the small side of things um, you're gonna need money that's the bottom line so you go through orientation two or three days orientation now it's time to go pick out a truck uh, now this is to, to switch to a lease purchase guys um, you know you're gonna go pick out your truck uh, check the maintenance records on it that can be very time-consuming guys very time-consuming to pick the uh, take the pick of the litter basically you know it's like this truck here I had uh, here I had three I had three trucks to choose from uh, this one another one and then a Kenworth and I looked at all of them equally I really did um, and it all came down to the maintenance records okay um, don't jump into any kind of lease purchase or, or lease or anything like that without knowing the history of the truck okay um, and again that's where it comes into money um, it all revolves around money guys um, basically check your what I'm getting at with the maintenance records is it takes time to to go through uh, and check the maintenance records on each truck that you're that you're interested in it takes time so there's another day that you're just checking out the trucks okay now you sleep on it and and you made a decision on the truck now you gotta go sign your paperwork uh, you gotta get the truck situated uh, if you're flatbed you've got to get your equipment situated uh, it's time guys it's time okay we're, we're at, you know already a week into switching companies um, the bills at home have to get paid you got to put food on the table all that sort of stuff so basically you've lost a week uh, worth of wages you know now some companies some greener grass companies uh, will give you a sign-on bonus you know a thousand two thousand bucks but it's not at one time they don't give it on your first paycheck usually it's you know 500 bucks at your first dispatch and then 500 every you know every quarter um, and then at the end of the year you'll get your two grand right so you you need money okay now what happens okay you're in this new lease truck you, you've taken about a week and a half to get everything situated you're pulling freight you're hauling freight um, you know now you got your startup costs you know um, usually there's some equipment involved for company policy stuff that you've got to buy um, you know your truck payment is going to come out all your insurance payments are going to come out there's money it's money and you've got to pay bills at home where's this money coming from where's it coming from that that's what I'm getting at here okay that minimum of five grand at minimum of five grand to float you and make that as your call it your cushion your cushion to float you into your new uh, your new position okay um, very important guys I've seen a lot of guys get real hard up out here you know they they're looking for greener grass and and they can't save up um, it's like all through prime hell I, when I was at prime you know as you guys know I got I'm married and got got kids and bills and stuff and chickens and uh, it took me all summer I was determined to find something better I found something better and I wanted to, to make the switch but I wasn't prepared for it yet okay I didn't have up enough money to float to that new to the to the greener grass okay um, it took me all summer running at prime running there running the lease and uh, I saved up five grand saved up five grand okay um, there's another another thing I'm always preaching everybody's always preaching uh, don't don't do anything in the winter okay um, just don't do it all right wait until uh, around March uh, at least the end, end of February into March maybe even April before you make any kind of switches okay because freight that's when freight starts picking up okay um, 
that's when you're going to be able to kind of hit the ground running, so to speak. Um, do things in winter. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, I just said that. I'm just here telling you guys that don't make any switches during winter. But uh, if you go back and look at the date on, on uh, why I left Prime video, I was sitting in a hotel uh, getting ready to go through into orientation. It was October. I was getting right into winter. So, uh, yeah, I'm guilty of, of not practicing what I preach on that, guys. I really am. But I tell you what, it was rough. Um, I had the five grand to float on, and I made it. Okay, uh, here we are. It's it's uh, February 13th. It's the mid mid middle of February 2017. Um, I'm over the hump. I paid all my startup expenses. Of uh, I had flatbed equipment at the house, so I didn't really have to pay for flatbed equipment. But if I did have to buy flatbed equipment, that would have been another 1,500 bucks. Where's it going to come from? Where's it going to come from? If you don't have that money set aside, at least. I stress at least five grand. I had five grand. Poof. It's gone, guys. It's freaking gone. I'm not even shitting you. It's gone. Okay. I'm back to week by week and back in the struggle. Okay. I'm making good money here. I'm making a hell of a lot more money here uh, than I did previously. But I'm making up. You know, I'm, I'm kind of behind still. You know, um, things are good. I'm, I'm doing real good so it ain't nothing like that but i had to get over that hump you know uh, a lot of it was switching in winter and just the startup costs okay um five grand five grand five grand five grand minimum minimum guys i don't care what it's for this is on top of all right and i stress minimum because that five grand is basically going to float your home bills you know your home life if you're if you're married and you got kids okay you got bills you're gonna have to the money's gonna have to come from somewhere okay um, you start taking advances all that sort of stuff it's gonna come back it's an advance is just a loan all right so you're gonna have to pay that back um, you know the money's got to come from somewhere guys all right so I cannot stress enough to be smart with it uh, again like I said in my previous video uh, calculated moves every move that you make has to be very thought out and very well calculated Okay, uh, you got to have this money and, and that five grand minimum, again, is just to float your bills at home. Okay, and maybe a little bit on the side, maybe just a little bit. Um, what happens if you get into a lease purchase and, you know, a lot of them have warranties on the truck. Some of them don't. But what if you get into one where, uh, you know, something happens with the truck? You, you got no, you got 200 bucks in the bank. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, just an example. Let's say you got 200 bucks in the bank. Uh, you're going to go to a different company to find that greener grass, and you're broke. Okay, you're basically broke. What happens when uh, you have a blowout on your first load? On your very first load, you have a blowout on one of your tires. It was good when you checked the truck, but maybe you picked something up on the road and then poof, gone. Got a blowout. Now you're buying. You know, at six hundred, eight hundred dollar tire, thousand dollar tire. Uh, where's it going to come from? It's going to come out of your first paycheck. All right. So now you're screwed. Now you're really screwed. Okay. Now you really got mama barking at you uh, that we ain't got no money at home. You know, we got to pay the bills. We got to pay the this. We got to pay the that. And and now you're at this greener grass, right? The greener grass company, but you're not making any money because of all your startup costs, um, all all that stuff. Okay. So this makes sense. All right, save your damn money, guys. Five grand minimum, and that's uh, at, that's just for your home stuff. Okay, ultimately, I'd say ten grand. Ultimately, if you guys can save ten grand before you make the switch into a lease or lease purchase or hell, even owner op going to the bank, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Ten grand, man. I mean, that way you've got five grand to float you through. If you don't use it, great. Okay, because now as you're getting into a lease or lease purchase or owner op you're starting a business okay um what business operates with no money in the bank how how long are you going to stay in business with no money in the bank not long not long it'll take one boo-boo one little boo-boo and now you're hurting okay serious serious hurting so as like me i had five grand it's gone it's gone i'm not 
you know I'm not perfect I already told you that you know this is uh, this is the story of, of me you know I made some mistakes you know but I, I made a calculated decision saved up five grand and poof it's gone guys it's gone so um, be smart about it um, talk to somebody um, get with me Woody uh, there's lots of guys out here that can help you with your finances um, if you're stuck in a crappy position and you want to get out of it and you found some greener grass talk to us okay my inbox is always available Woody's inbox is always available um, um, join the cupcake gang on Facebook and and ask a question on there okay we can help you get your finances straight okay that we're gonna be going into that uh, on the Robin Woody show is how to pull yourself out of debt how to minimize your expenses um, all that sort of stuff so there's lots of information out there guys if you guys are just buried in debt up up to your eyeballs in debt I mean it, it can get a lot worse trust me it can get a lot worse you get out here with no money in the bank in a lease truck or a lease purchase or an owner op truck and you got no money in the bank you ain't gonna make it very long you ain't gonna make it very long I, I can guarantee you that and a lot of other people will will agree with me on that so uh, back to it the moral of this video guys is minimum of five grand before you do anything and don't make any sudden movements in the winter time all right um, about Halloween about the end of October would be my cutoff uh, from October between October the end of October to the end of February that's your your no-fly zone okay um, just stay where you're at suck it up buttercup and and move on to that better that greener grass so I'm gonna get off here guys um, remember to be the professional set the example I'll talk to you later